If you aren't steeped in minor league baseball and haven't traveled on the long stretch of Interstate 81 through southwestern Virginia, you may not know of Salem, Virginia. It's a town of just over 25,000, just outside Roanoke. Baseball in that city dates back even further, but Salem first fielded minor league team in 1939, and that team played in this park. If you're a fan of summer collegiate leagues, the idea of bringing your own lawn chair to the game probably doesn't seem that strange, but even in 1991, it was a pretty rare occurrence in the minors. Here's a glimpse of minor league baseball as it once was. Stop number 70 on the excellent adventure, Salem Municipal Field, 29 years ago tonight, June 11, 1991. This is the exterior of the small downtown ballpark in Salem, Virginia. Home of the Class A Salem Buccaneers, who are the single A affiliates of the Pittsburgh Pirates in the Carolina League. And this is a small ballpark for the Carolina League, no question about it. Built up on a hill. And as we saw in Lynchburg, the shadows of the Blue Ridge Mountains in the background. This is a rather interesting place to sit. Cement bleachers. These are found on the first base and third base side. <laughs> This is the way to do it. Bring your own lawn chairs. It's just like sitting on your patio at home. Looks pretty comfortable. Maybe more comfortable than these folks are, although they still seem to be enjoying the game. You get a nice view in Salem looking out over the field. You can see the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's kind of too bad it's a hazy day. We've been staying in the Blue Ridge Mountains while we've been here, and I have to admit, it's some of the more attractive scenery we've seen across the country. Salem's another old park, located right in the center of town. You can see the neighborhood here. A little friendly basketball game going on. These houses, if ever had a broken window. I've been told that several balls have hit roofs, but no one's told me if they've broken a window yet or not. Part like Lynchburg is located on a hillside. This is a playing field. This is down low. All the various concession stands are located on top of the bleachers. A lot of wooden seats in the older parks, but these wooden seats are special. We were told that these were the wooden seats in Yankee Stadium before they redid the park. I never thought of one park buying the seats from another park. And it makes it rather interesting. I wonder what the old Yankee fans would think if they knew Pirates fans were sitting on their seats now. <laughs> we were told you can get the best burgers in the Carolina League here at the Buccaneers Burger Barn. Looks like I'll have to try one later on. They sure smell good. Here we see them spreading CDs out on along the bass lines for a contest they're going to have in a little bit. Each contestant will have 96 seconds to run around the bases and collect as many CDs as they can. Whoever gets the most CDs wins a CD player. All right, there we go. Can't see the titles out here. I don't know if it's anything I want. 
On the other hand, I don't know if I want my CDs being thrown around in infield dirt anyway. <laughs> this guy's obviously an expert at flipping them out here. Does he? He doesn't have to touch the base, does he? Not that one. Oh, he does have to touch the base. Oh, we can Here they are counting up the booty. We've got a little bit dirt scratched. Here's David Lee Roth. These are singles mostly. Mary's Danish. Never heard of him. There's Mary's Danish. Don't crash the car tonight. One of my favorite songs. Oh, they've got the guy's score on the scoreboard, maybe. No, that's not right. He has more than seven. Oh, he just made it. I can see the grim determination on her face. It's the agony of victory, the joy of defeat, something like that. that. My first time in a dugout. Well, I had a good time here tonight in Salem. I didn't get to win a CD player, though. That's a little disappointing, but it's always next time. Smelly in the dugout.